फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर रिगार्डिंग द पब्लिक सेक्टर आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी दैट वी हैव नाउ टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइजिस इन इंडिया रन बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम फाइव पब्लिक सेक्टर यूनिट्स विद एन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी नाइन करोड़ वी हैव नाउ कम टू हैव टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर पब्लिक सेक्टर यूनिट्स विद एन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट रुपीज ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड करोड़ सम ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द ओपोजिशन वर मैंशनिंग दैट आवर इन्वेस्टमेंट इज नॉट प्रोपर इज इट इम प्रोपर टू हैव टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर यूनिट्स इन प्लेस ऑफ फाइव एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट इनक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम रुपीज ट्वेंटी नाइन करोड़ टू रुपीज ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड करोड़ सर द पब्लिक सेक्टर एट वन टाइम वॉज ओनली द पोस्टल डिपार्टमेंट सेटअप बाय द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी बट नाउ लुक एट द ग्रोथ Now note the postal department only but several other departments firms and facilities that we have then about the sales growth i must comment not only there is growth in investments but also growth in sales in 10 years we are able to show a remarkable sales growth of 6 times in this country this is also a result of the good economic policy sir i would not take much of time but i would like to say one thing about the restlessness shown in many parts of this country because our country is a developing nation as a developing nation our economy has developed in many spheres people have been demanding more in many sectors more people wanting to travel by trains more people wanting to travel by air when there is more demand for everything you find that the infrastructure is not coping with the development of the economy i think the finance minister and the fiscal planners of this country will have to throw a little more light on this aspect infrastructure plan is also very important when you think of providing more wagons there should be sufficient railway stations the platforms must be long enough otherwise people get discomfort and our achievements on various points will be immediately side tracked by more waiting at the railway station for hours i think the passengers will feel that nothing is achieved in our country and that everything is of disadvantage to them he forgets immediately the achievements made in this country so the small thing which the people are coming across every day in their day to day life is the infrastructural weakness sir about the recovery our economy has made i do not want to compare it with that happened in their government's time we have not sold the gold which is reserved 
in the country in 1978 79 and 1979 80 did they not sell the gold did they not stop collections for cheap popularity did they not distort the economy at that time by wrong fiscal policies sir many things are there but i do not want to take your time because we are now discussing on a very important document in the house sir the productivity has to be increased for productivity increase the theme of the budget itself is increasing the production thermal power generation is an important factor sir i come from a state where electricity used to be a surplus commodity every year but last year because of the drought we find suddenly that there is power shortage sir in the state of kerala there is no thermal power station there was a proposal for the silent valley project but that was turned down on ecological reasons we accept it fully because ecology protecting nature is very important and we welcome the decision of the prime minister and the government of india but at the same time to compensate that and to remove the shortage of power i request the finance minister to explore the possibility of sanctioning a thermal power station to that state sir before concluding i would like to dwell upon one or two small points i come from an area which is a border state border not with china or pakistan it has a border with the indian ocean on almost three sides we are covered with ocean if you take kanyakumari also into account this is vulnerable the developments in the indian ocean as everybody knows are very unhealthy competition of superpowers they are creating problems of insecurity for that state and the border areas so i am glad that the government of india has thought about locating the naval academy in that state at kannur but sir air force station and the army stations will have to be thought of in this part of the country because this is surrounded on three sides by the ocean security is more important similarly political extremism at various points is emerging in various shapes and forms it is necessary to have a strong police force so the security arrangement is very necessary i am concluding with one word cochin is the commercial and industrial capital of the state kochi was known as the queen of the arabian sea stop